Hey, Miami Mike again. This is August 18th, 2015, and we have a little breakfast and lunch uh, menu uh, as far as uh, what you should be eating or consider eating on the Miami Mike diet. Uh, before devouring my cereal and a little bacon, I'll take you over here to the stove a minute and show you the uh, uh, one of the three supplements. The three supplements we're talking about, everyone should be taking at an average cost of about $1 per month uh, $1 per day, $30 per month. Flaxseed, you'll see how I use this. Vitamin D, very small pills. Um, also the cereal, uh, I'll explain a little bit along with the milk and uh, the bacon that we're going to go see. But let's go do some coconut oil. That's the third supplement. Back in a moment. My coconut oil, I'm going to ingest that first. A couple tablespoons, you'll see here if you pan up here, Jacob. Um, this is the one that my wife uses. You'll see both of these at Whole Foods later today. Um, everyone knows that I double dip in this one, so this is my private stock. Double dip means I'm going to take uh, three tablespoons. Three, my favorite number. Um, ba basically, you have to work up to this. But I will be taking three, but one point I want to make is basically you do need to keep coconut oil in a warm place. This is above the stove and I think it's 76 degrees uh, or higher temperature that you need to have the liquid form of coconut oil. Then if you'll pan over here, Jacob, I have some meat ready. I like to have a little protein with each meal. So my bacon that was pre-made, and if you haven't seen it, you can see a video, Bacon by Mike, that how I make this in bulk. Freeze it, and basically, this just came out of the freezer. Uh, just to show you, um, we've got sausage here. It's, uh, probably can't see it too good, but you can probably see the ham here. We just had this for dinner the other night. So basically, I'll have a big chunk of this. Uh, you'll see uh, probably for lunch today. So that will be a little bit separate, but let's, uh, let's meet back at the table here for the uh, cereal and bacon uh, devouring by Mike. Okay, back with the uh, supplements, I just uh, took out a couple of my vitamin D pills. If you can see these on camera, these are about pea, pea uh, size shape. Uh, very easy to take. So uh, between you and your healthcare practitioner, you decide on the dosage. Um, you'll see me in a second with the flaxseed. Mine I keep in a separate jar, um, a jar and it's in the refrigerator because mine is freshly ground. What you'll see me buy at the store today will be already ground in a bag. But I will be back in a second after I do my milk on the cereal and I'll let you know exactly how I consume this. Back in a moment. Okay, basically, and you have to work up to this, you have to work up to the amount of coconut oil that I take, the vitamin D and uh, the flaxseed. Um, you can see a big chunk of flaxseed here. A little more milk. So you can, I started out just uh, putting a little bit for the whole amount there as, as far as the cereal. Now I take some pretty big chunks. So the fiber, as far as the flaxseed, is a uh, real key in keeping your body healthy and in losing weight. Protein, the bacon, of course, the delicious part. When you think about it too, we've got the, the fat, the sugar, and the salt all working at the same time and how they uh, have a good synergy with the three of them. Um, the salt and the bacon, the sugar and the cereal. Let me mention that right now. My wife likes uh, Frosted Flakes. And I'll, uh, this is organic, and you, we'll see the organic section at Whole Foods later today. But basically, uh, we're talking about three ingredients. Organic milled corn. This is corn that's guaranteed not to be GMO. Organic cane sugar. And we want to keep the sugar to a minimum, but still, uh, this part is uh, not as harmful to you as the processed sugar. And sea salt. Sea salt, and while I'm thinking about it, uh, my salt and pepper shakers are over here. Sea salt's the only way to go. And uh, my perf uh, preferred preference uh, starting out the diet is something without the sugar. But since I've uh, made a good headway on my weight and feel happy with my overall um, health, I've gone to, uh, my favorite is honey, honey and nut morning O's. So this is like a, a sugared um, Cheerios type. So we'll see all the different brands at uh, Whole Foods today. But I think I've mentioned uh, everything I want to, so I'm going to enjoy this, and we'll see you at the store in a little bit. 
Hey guys, uh, back from Costco's. Just wanted to mention a few th more things about the breakfast before I go on to the lunch part. Uh, Costco's, we got the regular uh, Dave's Killer Bread. In my right hand, we if you can read this, it's a uh, thin slice that I get online. Wanted to give you an idea of the comparison. They're both delicious, they're both healthy. They both are gonna promote weight loss and overall health. Here's the difference in the size. Not only is the thin slice thinner, but it's uh, much less uh, area space here much smaller in diameter whatever that's not said very well but you get the point uh, as far as the other choices for breakfast we saw the milk and the cereal this morning um, I keep scrambled eggs I'll make uh, a dozen or so of these and uh, have five or six of them frozen in a little convenient um, paper bowl uh, empty it into the toast same toaster oven you saw this morning and voila got eggs and bacon and uh, easy toast to make and I do toast uh, most of my breads. I keep them in the freezer. The other thing about the breads, prior to Dave's Killer Bread just recently, I would get organic um, rye bread, and these are pretty thin that I slice myself from the organic farms that I use, and then freeze it. And so I've always got some uh, good bread, especially when I ha want to have uh, over light eggs. Now these happen to be hard boiled, boiled. <laughs> so that's okay. Um, we encourage a lot of egg use, obviously. It's uh, what Dr. Dr. Atkins calls the most nutritional thing in nature is the yolk of the egg. So we do what we call a three-way egg test. Basically, we want to see a hard shell. It's very hard. Sometimes you really have to crack it to get your over light egg going. Uh, we also want to, the second test is the color of the yolk. The more deep the yellow, even towards orange, the better. The health, that means the healthier chicken. And third taste is the taste test. Uh, these are t eggs taste so much more delicious than the $2 um, farm and pharmacy or food and pharmacy sad grocery stores that you may be used to and much healthier. So lastly, as far as leaving the breakfast, uh, once a week, which is usually Sunday, I'll have uh, kind of a little bit heavier carbohydrates and sweets again uh, with uh, organic multigrain waffles. I'll have two of these along with a health, healthy source of uh, or, or side of uh, meats, protein, uh, either bacon or sausage or ham. And I do use the organic maple syrup uh, I use the grade B that's uh, filled in this uh, grade A container here and um, you know we don't want to use too much of the carbs too much of the sugar but uh, to reward myself uh, about once a week I do this I'm gonna enjoy my lunch now for a minute um, have you back here to uh, share with you a few things about the lunch so give me a few minutes and uh, it's uh, almost two o'clock that's another thing I do try to keep a uh, basically a four-hour schedule my, my three meals a day are ten two and six and I'll uh, elaborate a little bit more uh, about that at lunchtime see you then back again uh, Jesse you can face this way we'll get you back in the film here in a minute uh, my milk supply um, my second favorite favorite beverage after water uh, milk is during the day I guess beer is reserved for at night I could tell I was getting low so I like to keep a steady milk of healthy milk steady supply I should say and my ice cold glass and if you come over here Jacob you'll see my breakfast which sometimes I have for lunch also today is a bacon and egg sandwich it's on the uh, Killer Dave's thin sliced bread an ample supply of baking and by the way that yolk was not as yellow just basically time of the year I was mentioning even from the farm I guess it depends on um, especially in the spring and early summer this is late summer early fall uh, in that prime time of the year the chickens have uh, a better supply of the the uh, not just the grass but the grubs and stuff uh, that the chickens on the farm eat uh, makes that yolk very bright yellow uh, almost orange for a real healthy chicken so I've got a bacon and egg sandwich here uh, with ketchup my f one of my favorite beverages the milk and I'm gonna sit down and eat that and come back in a few minutes and interview Jesse my grandson uh, Jesse you're supposed to be over here and I was mentioning at uh, their breakfast uh, which is more cereal and raisin bran toast that these kids with their metabolism you can see there's no fat at all on this six-year-old here he's tall for his age Jesse say hi to the camera hi hi so um, he wants me to do something for him so he's uh, requesting that he be in this interview here too uh, basically um, 
I want to know uh, from Jesse what he thinks of the organic mac and cheese that he has here, macaroni and cheese, if he likes it at Bumpus House, grandfa grandfather, right? Now you're talking to the camera. Do you like it or love it? Love it. Love it, good. How about the uh, chicken nuggets that we have? Like it. Like it, not love it? Nope. How about the thin crust pizza that we have here? Like it or love it? Love it. Love it. So we got two loves and one like, and so just goes to show you you can uh, have the healthy kids' meals organic and healthy for them. And I'll be back in a second. Hi. All right, I've got another grandson here. This is Jake. Jake, how old are you? Ten. Ten. Talk to the camera, please. No, you're not. Now, you be quiet a minute. This is a like it or love it. This is the macaroni and cheese from uh, Whole Foods. Like it or love it? Like it. No, love it. Love it. Love it, he says. Uh, the chicken fingers that I make? Like it. Chicken nuggets. Like it or love it? Love it. Love it, he says again. But you're supposed to talk to the fam uh, camera here. Love it. Thin crust pizza. <laughs> another American favorite. Uh, like it or love it? None. None? Okay, he hasn't tried the pizza. Do you like the pepperoni? No. No? You no, like the I cheese? Like so, two out of three is not bad. And there's plenty of other things because I get organic ice cream that you like it or love it from Whole Foods. I like it. Like it. Okay, ice cream, like it or love it? Love it. Love it. So we're getting there. Again, a way you can uh, have a healthy uh, program for your kids also from we Whole Foods, eat. organic, healthy. <laughs> non-GMO products. I'm enjoying my bacon and egg with ketchup on uh, the healthy kind of bread with my second favorite beverage milk. See you guys next time, maybe at lunch. Uh, before I take my last bite here, scrumptious, what we're talking about with the kids here, um, we're talking about three or four of the uh, standard school lunch programs, the macaroni and cheese, the chicken nuggets, the pizza, the hot dogs uh, from yesterday, the bison dogs that I recommend. We're talking about just so much healthier for your family than what you get uh, from the government. It ba it's back to the pyramids that we're talking about, the Miami Mike diet and uh, non-GMO products and what to feed yourself and your family uh, to become TWA. Uh, thin, well, and ageless. That's for you and your kids. Yes, we haven't talked too much about cost. It is uh, not as cost effective as the standard American diet grocery store, the food and pharmacy, but uh, to achieve uh, longevity and uh, help lose weight and become healthy, you need to go with the organic and other uh, pastured, grass-fed beef, etc. So I'm going to enjoy this here and we will see you very soon. One final thought with uh, my grandsons here. Uh, you can notice that they're thin. Now, even though they might not eat uh, quite as healthy uh, by any means as I do, at their age and their activity um, level, their metabolism is way up there. And um, we, as we get older, adults, have to eat healthier to get our metabolism up there to help uh, metabolize the food and uh, the weight loss that we want to expect from this diet. See you in a bit.